Welcome. This is a brief tutorial on the transcriptome browser used to visualize RNA sequencing data from two dictostelium species. This is the initial view of the browser and you can see four main panels. The search panel, the gene list panel, the samples panel, and the browser panel. All of the information provided in this tutorial can be gotten by mousing over the information icon over the search or the gene list panels and by clicking on the information icons for samples or the browser. To start using this tool, you search for gene regions of interest. So you can do this by gene name, gene ID, chromosome location, and you can also use the wildcard. So when you search, a few things happen. The gene list panel returns a list of results from your search. The sample panel adds a column for each one of your results and the read counts across the samples for each of your results. The browser panel is updated to show the chromosome region of the last result, in this case chromosome 3, and what you're looking at are two gene models within this region. From the sample panel, you can select a list of experiments for which you want to see the coverage. You can use shift and click or control and click to select multiple samples. So you can see that the coverage for each sample appears as a track in the browser. For each of the tracks, you see uh, the number of reads that map to the positive strand in green, on the negative strand is red, and then the sum of the two as black. You can move between regions that you previously searched for by clicking on the gene list panel. Um, you can see additional tracks which are available in this other tracks panel, so such as mappability, which will show you theoretically mappable regions, or the splice junctions within this region, showing up as these red bars within each of the tracks. If you mouse over a gene model, you can see the gene name, and you can click the gene to get external links like DictiBase and DictiExpress, or if you want to get the read counts for this particular gene, you can click the Get Read Counts button. What this will do is populate the sample panel again with the BZIPF read counts for across all of the samples. Now with the buttons up here on the top, you can move around the region of the chromosome that you're looking at by zooming in, zooming out, moving backwards and forwards, and these buttons work in a way where you can click them multiple times to make them move bigger. So if you wanted to zoom out a lot, you just click the zoom out button a couple of times. You notice that the region size changes as you click the button multiple times, and now you've zoomed out uh, 2 or 3x and now you're seeing many more gene models and the read coverage from the tracks that you had previously selected. To zoom in or to get the read counts for a specific region of the genome, you can hold down the shift key and drag your mouse over that region and you'll get a pop-up where you can either get the read counts for this region or to zoom in. If you click on the zoom in, you'll go into that region and let's say now you're specifically interested in the read counts for this last exon of this GFLD gene. So you can get the, you can uh, highlight that region and get read counts and now the sample panel again will populate with that region and show you the read counts across all of the samples. Now once you're done exploring these data you can download the entire samples panel to Excel by clicking on the export results button which will open up a window to save the file on your desktop. Hopefully this tutorial outlined a few of the major features of this transcriptome browser and it can be helpful for you as you explore the Dictostelium transcriptome data. Thank you.